We've got another doubleheader for the SEC on CBS this Saturday beginning at noon with the Auburn Tigers heading to Arkansas to take on the Razorbacks. And it's a game with added importance in the SEC West after Alabama's loss at Texas A&M. And Auburn still controls its own fate in the division. In the 3.30 time slot, it's the big one in the SEC East. The top-ranked Georgia Bulldogs hosting the unbeaten Kentucky Wildcats. Georgia continues to dominate their competition with a smothering defense, and the offense helped them break things open in the second half at Auburn. Deep ball down the middle, and it is caught over the shoulder. McConkey touchdown right down the middle, right down the seam, 60-yard strike. As for Kentucky, they're 6-0 for the first time since 1950 and appear to be Georgia's only potential challenger in the division. If Big Blue can steal this one, they'll be the heavy favorites to win the East. But that's a big if. Mark Stoops has the 11th-ranked Wildcats playing inspired football ahead of their biggest test of the season. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, <laughs> Kentucky! C-Ron wow. with a nail in the coffin of the LSU Bayou Bengals. Might we see another massive upset of the number one ranked team? Or will that dog D be too much for Kentucky to handle? First place in the SEC East and a potential clear path to the conference championship on the line Saturday in Athens. And joining us now, CBS Sports reporter Jamie Erdahl, who will be on the scene for the SEC showdown tomorrow between Kentucky and Georgia. And Jamie, this is a big one, both coming in at 6-0. Winner will hold first place in the SEC East. What have you learned about these two teams as they prepare for the game tomorrow? Well, how lucky are we to have the game we had last weekend on Saturday night where we see a number one Alabama team go down, have the polls get re-racked, and now we have a number one Georgia team on a Saturday afternoon on CBS. I mean... The fact that these are our games is unbelievable, but you're right, two unbeatens and kind of unpredictably that Kentucky is the other team that we're talking about here. You know, Mark Stoops has done an incredible job with this program getting them to this point, but he really made a chapter change, if you will, in this offseason and changing this offense with Kentucky, and that's why they find themselves here. However, they're coming to Georgia, and as we've seen in this SEC this season that teams on the road have struggled. It is going to be an uphill battle for Kentucky tomorrow because Georgia not only is allowed here, but they are just that good defensively. I mean, they rank across the board in so many categories. It is ridiculous. Such a challenge for Kentucky tomorrow, uh, but it should live up to its billing. When you see it there, of course, uh, when it comes to opposing offenses, it has not been good eating against the Bulldogs this season. Of course, questions still on the offensive side surrounding JT Daniels. If he's ready to return his QB1, but if he's not ready to go, Jamie, ready to roll in this one, Stetson Bennett, he's held the fort down. What does he need to do to help Georgia win at home here? Yeah, it continues to be a game time decision for the quarterback situation at Georgia. We've learned that JT Daniels continues to take reps at practice, but he's still just not 100%, but those decisions come down to the offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin, and then, of course, Kirby Smart tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. But I think what helps Georgia the most is exactly what you just said, what we've seen these last couple of weeks and the fact that Stetson Bennett has been able to come in and manage this game. I know that's a term that could be used to, uh, to insult a quarterback over the last couple of years, but that is what Bennett needs to do as he enters this game. This Georgia defense is literally has the mindset to not let anybody score. So what do you have to do on a team if you're the quarterback? You just go down, take care of your offense, and don't turn the ball over. And I think at home that should be easier for Stetson Bennett if he is the guy that goes. But it does continue to be a question. And if you're Kirby Smart and you're looking at your quarterback options, you want both of those guys to get looks as the season progresses because of the potential that this Georgia team has. Hey, look, if you ask Stetson, I'm pretty sure it doesn't sound bad to be the game manager for the number one team in the country as they stand right now. Uh, for Kentucky, though, back to them. 6-0 for the first time since 1950 before you and I were even around. Eight-game win streak if you're dating back to last season. What's been the buzz around this program at this point? I briefly mentioned it before, you know, again, this Kentucky team has had a great defense, but their change at offensive coordinator, bringing Liam Cohen in from the LA Rams in this off season has been the big change that and the addition of Will Levis, the quarterback, the transfer from Penn state has really changed the tune for Kentucky. They were a team that was right on the verge there, but Stoops just knew that he had to let go of his former longtime offensive coordinator, a coordinator that did a great job taking Kentucky to bowl games, but they just didn't, 
have what they needed to advance from an offensive standpoint. So this is a more electric team that will need to rely on the run game. And Chris Rodriguez, who has been outstanding so far this season, a young man from Georgia who is playing for Kentucky, and now he gets to come play between the, the hedges. Yeah, we'll see how that pans out between the two. A top 12 matchup between Kentucky and Georgia. Jamie Erdo, appreciate your time joining us here in HQ, laying it out for that big SEC showdown this weekend. Don't forget, of course, we got a doubleheader on CBS Auburn that first game in Arkansas, number 17 Razorbacks. That's at noon. And then also the game that Jamie will be at, Kentucky at Georgia, the number one Bulldogs trying to remain on top. Kentucky not playing around. They're 6-0 as well. That one at 3.30. You can catch it on CBS Saturday as well as streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.